the home of the Mallee Stump. And Rippin' Good Footy, the Mallee Football League. It's the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. Jason the Flow Man repeated 8am till 10am on Saturday morning, bringing you all of the action from across this network of ours. And Flow Man, our next guest, Hoops, is waiting on the line to talk Mallee football. Oh, yes, and Ben Hooper. It is uh, great to hear that Murrayville will be coming to play in South Australia. What a terrific announcement uh, that has been made during the week. How are you, Ben? Very well, thanks, Flo Man and Jace. How are you going? Yeah, it's great to have Murrayville coming back and yeah, having the, the three games for the weekend, which is great. Yeah, very important because last week no game against uh, Peak because uh, Peak couldn't travel into Victoria because of the restrictions. Uh, this is, though, a really good sign. And well worked out by Lou Bowden and his team because uh, there was initially a thought that they might just be able to have senior football, um, but then uh, it's been declared after the uh, situation in Victoria has been clarified that they can play all three grades, which is excellent stuff, and uh, everyone is going to be heading to Karunda to have a look at uh, that, I'm sure, particularly the uh, Adelaide uh, part of the Murrayville Travellers but last weekend, now Jace yes. there was a bit of uh, MFL TV yes. and uh, if you were out there with your sunglasses on which you very oh, brightly I, are displaying I tonight, off. I Sorry. know you had to but you need to put them back on because it just gets me right into the groove, oh. BDT talk about getting into the groove beat Pinaroo who hadn't been headed before, it was 8-16-64 to Pinaroo 9 6 hoops, I oh, watched the MFL TV coverage in this, it was an absolute belter of a finish Absolutely. I have to be game of the season so far and, and good viewing for those that want to go back and check it out. And uh feel like building into the team song, it was that good of a win for our, for our boys to get across the line against the top of the table. Lose. I am grumpy that I didn't get to go down and call this one, but uh, uh, that time will come. I'm looking forward to seeing these two go at it again right at the business end of the year. BDT uh, trailed at quarter time and at half time and at three quarter time. Well, uh, home with the wet sail, 10 points down at the three-quarter time break, winning by four. Uh, my man, Ward, he booted two, but uh, Barrett booted three, the opportunist up forward. Vince, two, Baker, two, the big fella. Uh, Jenna Howard, O'Driscoll named best for Pinaroo, but for BDT, uh, total team effort, I think it would have said, but uh, Richardson, Schilling uh, and McHugh, along with Manning, named in their best. So, well done, Ben. You'd be pr- uh, proud of the boys. Absolutely. I think, uh, to you, Jace, you're the only one that kicked the, kicked the BDT boys, but uh, I was always hoping for a, for a real tight tussle, which I knew our boys would dish up. But uh, leaders, Someone had to keep there. the faith, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the, leaders, the leaders from our boys are doing a great job um, with, with quite a young team, so Schilling and Richardson and, and Ken are having great years, and um, really impressed to see this young fellow, Brandon Snell, come along too. He's, he's played Colts for us all his time and um, had a season in B grade last year as his first senior year and, and then to progress into A grade and, and to take on um, Baker who's in flying form and holding the two goals. I think he's an exceptional effort from that young fellow so well done to him. Yeah, young smell was a really good effort. You could see that on the video that Baker didn't play as well as he did the uh, week before when I saw him uh, out at uh, Pinaroo. He's a gun. He, he is a gun. He's a big body too. Oh, Gee, big body. He, and not quite as big as you with those sunglasses on. Oh, I might have. Stop but... it. <laughs> uh, now, Hoops, before we move on to the next game, just quickly, we've only got two to cover, but um, who looks after the recruits down there at BDT when they come into the club, if they come in from outside of the area? Who's the one that uh, puts them under their arm and just uh, makes sure that they're looked after? I think you know it's a bit of a team effort. We're, we're, we've got a great bit of culture there, but uh, there's a few young young Joshy Richo. He likes to help out with those sorts of things and and Harky. What do, what do you got for us, Jake? No, well uh, we'll come back to that. <laughs> I just uh, may have heard a story or two through the week about uh, how BDT look after their recruits. So we'll, we'll get back to that. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about this Karunda Lamaru game. Uh, 15, 16, 106. Karunda eight two fifty. Jackson booted four. For the Hawkers, uh, Hunt, two, and Chandler, two. Boone, two, and uh, Woodward was the only multiple goal kicker for the Maggies. Brown, he's a star, and he just keeps on keeping on for those Magpies. Uh, Rudiger, Mitchell, Adams, named in their best. Wilson, Jackson, uh, Barrett, and Martins, named best for Lamaroo. They just keep getting the job done, Hoops. Yeah, they do indeed. 56-point win in the end, which was probably a tight tussle for most of the game. Pretty close at... Um, half time and then only a bit over a couple of goals at three quarter time so the six goal last term for them is a good effort but I think the big story to come out of this game is that uh, 
go lumberjack down there, Andy Hunt. You've got to be tied up with these boys who are missing a few goals. And, and it's been going on for a few weeks. And, you know, Wobbly Werner, get rid of Willie, it's Wobbly Werner. I know he's out injured at the moment with a bit of a knee problem, but they've been kicking too many points. So the old backman, Andy Hunt, he's fired up. And so they made him put his money where his mouth was and put him from full back to full forward to kick those couple of goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and Will Werner, he would uh, just be glad that we've mentioned his name even though he's out injured and uh, Hunt, he would be absolutely <laughs> embarrassed that you've actually uh, talked about him on the radio there, mate so uh, he'd, he'd actually love that, I reckon Fantastic, isn't it? Um, he, he probably... Uh, remember Patrick O'Driscoll, I reckon he was one of the greats at Lamaru from the back line and when he kicked a goal, I think we all celebrated Absolutely I, And I hear on the street that he's starting full forward this week <laughs> Good on you, Hunty. Hey, well, if you're hearing that on the street, uh, you're going to be playing them out at Lamaru on their home deck. BDT come to play. Last week they took on Pinaru and did it. Now you face Lamaru, who have been one of the form sides. The three of you going head-to-head to see who can be top of the table. Can BDT take the mantle this week at Lamaru? Well, I'd like to think so. I am, I'm away for a little bit. I know you mentioned me going to off to Canberra, but I'm heading in the other direction. I'm heading west and north, so um, I'm on on, um, on the retreat at the moment, so I'm not going to see this one, but uh, looking forward to, yeah, once again, I think this will be much of the round, and I'd expect um, Denty and Jetty to have their boys fired up, and with those with those guys playing good footy, Johnny Wilson leading the way, I mean, he's an exceptional talent, and then, well, then Nick Martin's in and under. They'll be, they'll be tough to beat, and um, they're, they're welcoming another new player this week um, to complete the, the trail of Fellas, I've got over from Kauffa. Justin Mill comes in for them as well. Um, yeah, it'll be another tough effort for our boys, but they're definitely up for the challenge. They, they like it. The tougher and harder it is, the better our boys seem to lift. And it's this time of the year we start to wind up towards the end of the year. Yeah, so anything from your bench uh, that will be said to Denty as you, you sort of pass by his bench uh, when you're running out onto the ground? Oh, we just... We, we just I don't want to give him any ammunition. We'll just wait for the business end of the season, I reckon. <laughs> what you could do uh, is perhaps take his keys and move his car, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that a few times for him. <laughs> uh, anyway, Karunda, uh, <laughs> they take on Murrayville. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Fantastic, this is. Murrayville, of course, come over the border, and there'll be some from Adelaide. <laughs> you still got that grin on your face. Karunda are the opposition, and, and Hoops, this is just fantastic. Karunda have been threatening in the last couple of weeks. They played well against uh, two very good sides and uh, played up to about three-quarter time, been right in it. Murrayville come and have to win it. Uh, they want that fourth spot if they can get there. And, gee, this becomes a really important clash, Hoops. I agree, absolutely. I reckon um, the week after Murrayville, I think they needed it. They needed a bit of a recuperation week. But I, I think that it, it will not help them against Karunda, who are just getting stronger and stronger each week, and Woody starting to find a bit of form after having a bit of a patchy start. So he kicked four last week, and, and those the trio of guns that they've had all year, Brown, Rudy, and Adams, I reckon they'll give them a good run. So I'm, I'm tipping their pies to get over the line here. Mm, he's going for the uh, pies to beat Maryville. What about you, Jace? Hot pies at home, yep. You like hot pies, don't you? No, I'm a fan. <laughs> uh, I've never met one I haven't liked. Uh, so <laughs> well, let's go with the pies there. Uh, the poor old Lions, though, uh, Need they'll, they'll get a grumpy Pinaroo. Um, yep. Let's be honest, it's never a good time to get Pinaroo, but off a loss is probably the worst time. Uh, they will at least face them at home. Hopefully they'll have some cattle coming back, but it probably won't be enough hoops. Yeah, I agree. I think... Um, they'll be seizing after the loss and unfortunately the peak uh, they, they're going to cop them so uh, yeah, soft Jenna and that midfield group they will respond, no doubt about it they're, they're in great physical condition and, and they won't be happy with that effort so unfortunately I'll be keeping Kinnera in a bit of a steamrolling this week, even though Peter are definitely said to have a few breaks come back online as well they've been savaged by injury so they'll be slowly rebuilding their team. I just think it's um, unfortunate timing to cop in the roof. Mm. Hey, now, what were you on about there before? Are you going to cough any information while Hoops is online, or are we going to keep this for next week? I'll keep it up my sleeve for next week, but Hoops knows exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, moving cars, Denty's car getting moved. Well, yeah, find out more about that. Hey, Hoops, so you uh, go safely where you are, and uh, we look forward to uh, chatting to you next week.